super flat and this is about as aggressive as they get. How long has the show been? About 20 years. 20 so years. 20th year. Yeah. Wow. Been around for, this is the oldest show in St. Louis. So would you say that this show has a lot of variety? 
what can you like find? It has an enormous amount of variety. Yes, yes. I yes. agree. We get some of the vendors who've been into it for 20, 30, 40 years, and you know, you just see some amazing animals. I just sold some Muroplatus, you know, and you don't normally see those. So, well, thank you. It's nice to finally meet you. It's really nice to meet you. Sorry, I just scared all your animals. So I got one new addition. Can you guess what it is? That's right, I got myself another unicorn. This is a C. Marshalli, so it is like my C. Darlini, but different. And I am just putting the enclosure together, similarly to how I put the C. Darlini's enclosure together. But I decided to experiment a little bit with this log thing. So I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but my plan of action was to coax the C. Marshalli out of her container and into that pit so that I could grab the old container out really quick. And that is pretty much how my plan went. Um, I did have to poke at her quite a bit to get her out of the deli, but she did fine. I think she threw up a couple semi-threat postures, but it wasn't anything too intense. And that is something that I really do enjoy about this species. They are old world, but they are kind of tolerant. Neither one of mine has yet to strike at me or anything, but as you see, the plan kind of worked out. Um, after this, I think I put in a little bit more substrate and I would also like to get some leaf litter for up top because I think that makes it look nice and adds a little bit to the enclosure. But yeah, she looks great. I also grabbed some medium sized dubia for my colony. I just don't seem to have enough. Those are what I feed off to my bearded dragon. So even though I have a lot of babies and adults, I really don't have that many medium sized ones. And I grabbed these from Lynn's Pets. They are one of my favorite feeder vendors. So thank you for those. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh yeah, and if you haven't noticed, this is um, a tarantula cat shirt. I have them uh, for sale on Teespring. We'll link it down below. So yeah, um, check it out. If you purchase one, it does go towards making my channel better. Thank you if you do, I appreciate it. And if not, it's totally cool, like I get it. We have another expo coming up. Gosh, so many expos. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you enjoyed. See you guys next time.